Yo, what is up guys, Rock Dakota here, and welcome back to yet another video. Today, I will be reacting to the Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royale trailer. I meant to do this last night, but I never got a chance to, so I'm going to post it and record it today. So basically, I'm going to let y'all watch through the entire thing without my commentary, and then I will come back and talk about it and run through some of the things I see in it by slowing it down and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in a minute. Approaching the drop zone. Locked and loaded. Blackout Beta. Okay guys, so that was the Blackout trailer. I am so hyped. I can't wait. Oh, it looks so good. So basically, I'm going to take y'all through this, and we're going to look at all this. So I'm pretty sure that's Turbine Array. Yeah, Array right there. Uh, Lighthouse. Okay. I'm going to take it back a bit. Pause it. Right here. Now, this Lighthouse to me oddly looks like the lighthouse from call of the dead there we go <laughs> i don't remember the name of it because in call of the dead you know the big lighthouse and there's a little shack type thing connected to it as you can see there's one here so if this is part if this is from call of the dead they ha it looks exactly the same from what i remember little shack and all i hope this is the exact same one it could just be lighthouse little shack on the side nothing big but it just screams Call of the Dead to me. I just, and you know, I, lo I love my zombies, so that's what I see here. So if we keep going, you can see there is the dam, the, oh, as you can see, people, you do have to run around and find guns and pick them up. You saw the fire break, picking up the pistol, Ajax, picking up, I forgot the names of the guns in this game, but he's picking up what looks like an SMG, maybe an assault rifle. But, yeah, so you will have to walk around and pick up the guns. So, if it keeps going, there's the blackout. And it's fizzling away. There is the dam right here. It looks beautiful, and it's a lot taller than I expected. And as you could tell, because of the little drop points off the sides, these people get into a gunfight, and they immediately go over jump off, wingsuit down into the water, and then continue their fight there, which I think is so cool. I can't wait to be able to do stuff like this. And there's your look at the water rafts. They look beautiful. I love the idea of this. And there's the look at the helicopter with the people hanging out the side. You can destroy the vehicle, stuff like that. And okay, <laughs> this is going a little faster than I thought it would. But now we're in Nuketown Island. This Oh, it looks so good. It looks like the Zombies version, but the Zombies version was after the nuke had hit. So, it it could be a call to the Zombies, or it could just be the fact that this is what Nuketown looks like after it's been hit. And because of... 
it being Battle Royale, you can actually go down the road instead of being in just the two houses and that little complex there. You can see it even has the little garage over there where the other cars car was and all the houses lining, so you do get the exact look of Newtown, but this is after the Newt kit, which I think it looks amazing. I can't wait for to play on that. It looks like it could I, I'm sorry to compare it to this, but I feel like Newtown could end up being the tilted towers of this game. Cause that it just seems like it. Everyone knows Newtown. They're all probably gonna want to land it. In that case, they may just not add as much loot just to force you to go other places, but if they do um, add the same amount of loot to Newtown as everywhere else or mo more loot, you definitely will know people are going to go Newtown Island all the time, depending on how you drop out. So you can see I'm getting the kill there, and you can see our man right here running and gunning. And yeah, it's exact. It looks exactly like Nuketown Zombies looks like. It looks exactly like it. So I think they basically remade it after the Zombies one, because again, Raptor Nuke Kit. So yeah, and you can see he's throwing a Molotov at the helicopter. Sorry, a little sick. Which I'm pretty sure destroys said helicopter, dropping the population down by four. Now here's the question that I don't know. Could you look at that and tell exactly how many people are in the map or how many people are in this location? Because if it's this location, then when you land, you can look at it to know, oh, I have to look out this many more people landed here with me. But if it's talking about the map of Roll, then yeah. But it's only two numbers and they said they want to try to push triple digits with like 115 and stuff like that. But if it sticks at 80, I think that it might just be population of the game I don't know so let's keep going there's shipment with all the shipment containers and stuff looks really good not shipment from Modern Warfare I forgot the name if this is the one based off of the one I remember from Black Ops 2 can't remember its name wasn't really my favorite map but it was a but the way it looks here oh and you see everyone on the ATVs riding around getting into a little gunfight looks really good and tank Dipsy. okay this is our looks at traps so you can see the little trap he placed there, and then he's about to use this weird slingshot to launch the other one there, which in, re which in the end will be a giant tripwire, which I think this is a really cool addition. We don't see stuff like this too much. So yeah, and our boy Tank Dempsey places it and explodes the ATV coming through. This is our look at the drops coming in. You can see the drop out there, and the little car that's the cargo truck where you can put weapons. And you're gonna see in a minute, cargo um, cargo's falling from the sky like supply drops. Will land you can make them land in those things and carry them with you. Since you can only hold two primary weapons, it's good to be able to do this so you can switch out. And this again, our look at the ATV, and this is my favorite part. The rocket launcher has no targeting system, yet this guy pulls off an amazing shot. Can we get a look at this? That like that looks really good. And this is our look of the sh supply drop landing on the cargo truck and them heading off. There's helicopter again. People shooting down at it and... Oh my god, Woods. I am so glad they brought him in. I... And I'm pretty sure the guy who played him was happy to be able to get other lines in because I absolutely love his voice. Can we just, can we just one more time for me? One more time for me, please. I don't like anyone. Oh, that voice. So good. Okay, let me drop it back down to half speed. Um, that was also our look at, is that it? Is that supposed to be someone new? Because if it is, he looks oddly like the guy from uh, GTA 5. Um... Michael. It looks like Michael from GTA 5. Anyway, so we're not here for that. We're here because of the game. Okay, so that was our look at Bullet Drop. And that was a long shot, so props to Woods for nailing that shot. But yeah, Bullet Drop on the sniper, it dropped down. Hit the guy. Keep going. Also, this. Raid. Why couldn't I think of the name Raid? <laughs> Raid, this was absolutely my favorite map in Black Ops 2. So glad they brought it back. It seems like they're bringing back all the um, fan faves. Like, let's just keep going. I said no audio. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
so this is our look. There's Takio right there. This is our look at Verrupt from World at War. Verrupt was the asylum map and does it looks so good in HD. Like, look at that. You see the four down there. You see Takio and the fire break up here. Getting something that I'm so glad they had in the game. A monkey bomb. Like, this thing. It looks so good. And then they throw it down. Look at that drain. Uh, not drain. Um, fountain. Okay, now. Basically, what this is probably going to be used as is not to get other people to come to you. Because they won't be distracted by it. I th it's for the zombie points. The zombies will be attracted to it which will then bring them towards the other people that are near it so as you can see also look at that zombie <laughs> man I just hit the mic look how big his mouth is Jesus Christ that looks good I like the way that one looks but yeah let's keep going got that zombie coming in and this is our okay this is one of our first looks at the way the asylum looks Look, you can see like the banister and all because in Baruch you basically spent the entire game inside of the asylum so being able to look at it from an out perspective looks so good I love it Black Ops 4 Triart you're doing such a good job I love everything that they're doing right now like all oh, this looks so good okay there's our look at what the storm looks like and it seems like you see number like the numbers and stuff as you're running like from like black ops 1 the numbers but the thing i don't understand is what is that hold on can we get a better look at it i'll go i'll probably put a picture up on it in um editing but what is that i don't know um i have no idea what it could be or anything but we do know the numbers what are the numbers mason what do they mean you may go in my friend, when we watched this together, he was like, what if you go so insane from the numbers that you end up shooting yourself? But it, no, if I'm correct, it's Nova Gas, which, cool addition. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can see the Nova Gas. I love that. It's really cool. Here's a look at the skyscraper. Now, if I remember, they wanted to make this thing even bigger, but people were, oh, okay, sorry. I was looking at something. Um... Oh, throw a knife, nice. Um, if I'm correct, they wanted to make this bigger, but people were the people that were playtesting it were getting so disorientated by how big it was, like when they're running up it and down it and all that, it was just getting really disorientating. So they had to make it smaller. This thing is still huge. How big did they have it? I have no idea. Do I want to know? Very much. Would I like to play it like that? Very much, but some play testers. Yeah, this thing, look at this. This look as you can see, RCXD looks so good so there will be kind of score streakish things in here like that I don't know if you earn them or if you just find like you just like toss it and have the remote and stuff I don't know I got fire oh barbed wire pretty cool is that woods placing it anyways yeah so there's barbed wire you can play stuff like that and turns around and shoots and my favorite part of the entire thing the grappling hook this thing looks so good there's the ATV jumping up into it, chasing the Seraph, I believe, out. And this is our first look at the grappling hook in action. Look at that. This got so much range. That looks so good. And then just the ATV following. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, October 12th, on disc and digital Dilla. Okay. So, am I hyped about this? Very much, like... I am like jumping in my seat ready for this. Problem being, I don't get to play it Monday. I don't. I have to wait till everyone's going to be playing it Monday. I don't get to play till next Saturday because I don't have the I never got to pre-order it because I don't have the money right now. Don't 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 be mean to me, but I don't have money right now. So, I have to play next Saturday, but when I do get it next Saturday, I am going to play the absolute crap out of it. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait. I'm going to try to post as much of it of it as I can. Hopefully, I don't know when it stops. So hopefully they give me more than just a day to play. Hopefully they do like the other video and I get to play Saturday and Sunday and a little bit Monday. But yeah, it couldn't, I can't wait. I really can't. This, mm, Fortnite, PUBG, H1Z1, get scared. This game looks great. But yeah, 
Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Especially if you're hyped for Blackout or Blackout Spore, hit that like button definitely and tell me what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel be no no. Subscribe to my channel for some more amazing content by me and go ahead and hit the notification bell down below get notified anytime I upload and become part of the notification squad. Also, if you want to help support my channel and if you want to help me get this game, I have a donations link put in the description of our, all my videos. Hit that. Go ahead and go to my Twitter, my Facebook, all that good stuff. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.